As we walk out here in this water, I'll just move out here. You'll notice it's starting to get pretty deep, but it's, it's not real deep. In, in other words, it's not clear up to my knees or anything like that. It could be. And we need to learn how to set these types of situations. When a mink or coon works through here, they're going to stay real close to this cement wall, kind of work the edge. So what I've done pre-season, as I come in here, set my bucket down. You can see about how deep the water is. It's about halfway up on my five-gallon bucket here. When I come in, and lay out these cement blocks. See, there's a cement block laying under the water here. What I've done is actually place that there so I can make a set on it. Got a piece of sod in here, just a regular piece of sod cut out of the road ditch or cut out at home. We can get that wet and get it setting up here on top. Got some more sod too. Then we can get our easy stake set up out of the bucket, unravel it, just a short piece of wire, easy stake on the end, easy stake tool, I'm going to insert this out. Now I'm, chances are I'm planning on picking up a mink here. There's a lot of mink tracks behind the camera working down through this edge, a lot of mink working in here. I'm planning on picking a mink up, so I'm not going to worry too much about a drowner rig setup. This is pretty gravelly bottom, really. I'm going to get out here. You can hear that gravel. Set that easy stake. See how far I let it go down in there? Twist. Pull it out. Take my trap and set her. Once your easy stake's in the ground and set, you want to get that trap set and then get it positioned over here. I like to have the loose jaw up next to that wall abutment. Kind of nestle that trap right down in right into that sod so it's going to not tip or wobble. We want to make sure it's well supported, just like in a fox set. We want it laying just below the surface of the ground, of the water there. I've got a stick here so I can guard that jaw. Stick that down in that sod so we have a stick kind of sticking up here. Now as a mink or coon would swim along the edge here, he would hit this edge of the cement block or part of the sod, actually climb up on top and get caught, and we'd have him down here in the end in the water. Another thing we can do is to take some paper. It's just regular paper from paper sacks you get at the grocery store. We can tear it or cut it out in small circles. Get that wet. Actually lay that over top of your trap to help break the outline. You'll say, well, that doesn't break the outline. That looks kind of more obvious than it did before. But if you can, over a period of time, we get a little bit of dirt over top of that, like this, it looks a lot more ahead than it did before. That way you can kind of hide your trap from anybody that may be working down in here. It just looks like a clump of grass, maybe a muskrat feed bed or something like this. And then how we can check this set, we run down from the bridge in the middle of the night or during the day, whenever we're running our traps, when this stick's gone, we've got a catch. Because as soon as an animal hits that, whether it be mink or coon, it's going to knock this stick over. Once this stick's missing, I know I've got a catch. I just have to come out here, fish him up off the bottom, reset. <laughs>